So it's kind of nice that the trip took us to Pensacola and we're also going to go to Mobile soon. It kind of brings it back full circle because I started playing table tennis again. Like the second life of my career started in Mobile and Pensacola. So it's, it's nice that we're ending our trip in the place where it all started. All the guys look exactly the same. They're still there playing at the club. I think the club is in a different location now, but yeah, it's, it's cool to see that like it's, you know, some of these clubs are just like a time warp and <laughs> I can, that can leave for seven years and come back to the Pensacola club and know that the same guys will be there playing. So it's, it's a nice homecoming. Maybe like later in the evening around dinner time. So it would be great to, to play at your house and then, you know, show, show where I started back playing again. Yeah, it was great to talk to you. If you have time, tell Johnny Billy to come too. I would love to see him and say hi. Okay, perfect. Thanks. Okay, Mike. Yeah, that was Mike Ho. I was trying to. I love him. Mike Ho is the sweetest, uh, he's the nicest guy. He's like the transmission king of Mobile, Alabama. I'm gonna play at his house. Um, trying to play with him, Johnny Billy, and then there's a guy from Ohio that's supposed to be a really good player. So we'll see. And then Mobile, South Alabama tournament in the morning. If I get second place in that tournament, I'm quitting. Yes, I have met other Rockies. There's a lot of Rockies there. There's a lot Not of Rockies. one as good looking as him. <laughs> Where should I park? Okay, awesome. Man, it's great Hi. to see you. <laughs> oh, long time no see, my man. You look good. I, would love to just, I just want to catch up, you know. <laughs>
Yeah, my name is Mike. <laughs> I live in Mobile, Alabama. I know him for a while. Yeah. I think last time I seen him in 2007. Yep, 2007. I met him here. I met you here with you, Johnny Billy, and Joe. Yeah, that's right. that, was the, that was one of yeah. my first times playing ping pong after 13 years. You built the whole house yeah. around the ping pong yeah, table. Yeah, <laughs> so I built this room for especially for ping pong. <laughs> He's probably gonna kick my tail, so I should, should I hit him now? Or? <laughs> okay. Yeah, you come from Maryland, you haven't been playing. You've been playing about 11 years. Yeah, 13 and, years. And all those, uh, and all the places around them to play too. And I told, I told Mike. I'm gonna tell him Mike. Said, we well, you know, uh, if you're gonna take a game off Rocky, we better, better do it now because when he gets the game back, you ain't gonna touch this guy, you know. <laughs> and we, we can't touch you later. You know? but, uh, you guys helped me get my game. I almost back. took a game off you in competition. Actually. I think so, yeah. yeah almost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In Pensacola, right? In Pensacola. In that, cl in that close, you know. Yeah. Rocky's been saying you're one of the best players around here, though, so you, you know. got a reputation, too. Liar. Maybe I'm trying to see that. So I finally won a tournament after all this time. I felt great winning, but it wasn't a planned tournament. The timing just happened to be right. And we just happened to be in Alabama when Mike was throwing a tournament. But I think the best part of the tournament was actually afterwards when I met so many of the young college kids that were so into ping pong and had a bunch of questions and 
for a lot of them it was their first tournament so giving them a little tutorial and pumping them up a little bit actually was I think for me the best part of this time down in Alabama. My name is Sultan, Sultan Mahmoud, and I'm here in my master's. This is my second semester. Uh, Mahmoud Sabahi, I'm a counting student from Syria. Awesome. That's a long way. Uh, I know. That's a long way from Syria. <laughs> from Syria to here. Yeah, yeah. How did you guys get started playing table tennis? Well, I started this semester. Well, I don't have any free time, so I guess I wanted to have something recreational over here, so. I just came this semester and then I felt like playing and it's really good over here. So the stress is piling up so it's good to have I mean the stress out of for some time and then get back into the real world again. So it's kind of really fun now. I just met my buddy here in University of South Alabama. He's on the track team, the javelin thrower. So my the first question I had in mind was what are the similarities in like movement? with javelin and ping pong. And that's a tough one. Javelin is a very simultaneous uh, event, and so the hips are very involved. They're like the core of what a javelin throwing is, so uh, when you get like this and hit it, that's exactly the same as javelin, so like, that's why I picked this up pretty fast, I think, is because when I'm throwing the javelin, it's it's ground up. It's hip, legs, hip, and then finally the arm action. He got it. See, I didn't even have to tell him that. He knew, he knew right away. It's, it's all in the it's all in the hips. <laughs> the difference is is still talking about the arm action because even though it is involved with the hips and whatnot, the arm still finishes last in the javelin. I have to like, get that out of my head when I'm playing ping pong because sometimes I want to be like, <laughs> like that and I can't. And the balls already yeah, because it's just. It's, have you ever just thrown your racket? <laughs> have you thrown I your did, racket? I actually have when I had my uh, my first racket and I broke it <laughs> and I got this one. <laughs> uh, I'm Jake Beyonce, I'm from Mobile, Alabama. Uh, I played in a Pensacola tournament about last year, but like I had no idea. Like I had like a cheap old battle. I just went there not expecting this kind of play, you know, and got my tail whipped, and then I started really playing. I wish I could be a professional ping pong player, I'm not going to lie, I wish I could. Like that would be the best thing in the world, you know. Playing is just an amazing feeling, I don't know, it's, it's indescribable. I think in the middle of the trip, I kind of just became more of an ambassador to the sport. In order for there to be a future and for a young person growing up now to say, I want to be a professional table tennis player in America, people like me, retired players and coaches and people that love the sport have to do a better job at promoting and, and teaching people why it's such a good sport. Along the way, I met so many people, and I don't think I met one person that wasn't laughing or smiling or having a great time when they were playing. That was more of a mission, actually, just to spread the love of the sport and to grow it by just playing with people and teaching people and having fun with them. I feel like that's kind of become the mission of Pong Road. and kind of my my own mission is just to be an ambassador and really try to grow it for the future because if people like me don't do it then 20 years later when a young person that's great at the sport wants to make a living doing it there's going to be no chance at all there is so much pot potential for the sport to get huge in america um you guys got that out of watching this too <laughs> Am I supposed to say watching this? <laughs> Thank you.